fears we don't face become our limits. July 22, 2012, this post was made by author Robin Sharma. Keep it in your mind for a while and think about it. The fears we don't face become our limits. Everyone is born with a set of fears. We know that the number and intensity of these fears vary from person to person. But no matter who we are, the fears are always there. And for me, my biggest fear is heights. On September 3rd, my family and a couple of their friends drove to Tree to Tree. Has anyone here ever heard of Tree to Tree? Okay, well, I have a few photos. Uh, you can pass these around. Or something. They're double-sided. Tree to Tree is an adventure park where they have obstacles in the trees, obviously. <laughs> and the levels go from green all the way to double black. And as the levels increase, uh, the height and the intensity also increase. Each level also ends with a zip line. So it's like a little award at the end. We got there around lunch, had a quick tour, and then we were clipped in and ready to set off. The green was a relative breeze. We climbed nets and crossed over vertical logs that were strung together by pieces of wire. And still, by the time I got down to the ground, my knees were nearly knocking together. But I told myself it wasn't so bad, so I went on to the next level. Now this one, there were tight ropes, there were planks that swiveled and bounced, and there was a simple pulley system that required sheer force and speed to get across. If you can collect either, enough of either of these in the beginning, you would end up on a wooden plank, swinging on a single wire far between two trees. As the levels and the challenges got higher and higher, I began to get a bit of trouble breathing. Now when I got onto the tight ropes, my legs shook so much that the wire swung violently under my feet. In fact, my mom took a photo of me on the tight rope, and my feet were actually blurry. <laughs> Not fun. <laughs> and I was in the middle of my third level. And I was crossing the tightrope, and finally I flipped myself into the tree. I was so nervous, but suddenly I felt a wave of calmness. My muscles relaxed. And then all of a sudden it was overcome by intense panic, and I felt a sharp sting in my eye. And for the first time in around a year, I was crying. And I was a pretty pitiful sight, clinging to the tree, tears running down my face, fighting to keep my voice level. And when I finally was able, to calm down a bit, I stumbled through the rest of the obstacle course and collapsed on the floor. <laughs> now my mom offered to take me through the next obstacle. I was like, no way. And so she asked a bit more forcefully and I declined a bit more forcefully. <laughs> she, but watching her get on the obstacle course by herself, I eventually gave it. Now the moment I stepped onto the obstacle course, I regretted it because you're not allowed to go back. <laughs> and <laughs> the second course was already extremely hard. It consisted of short round logs that were strung together by elastic, uh, elastic bands. They were placed at different intervals, some overlapped, some were placed at extreme angles, and you were expected to balance on them. When stepped on, the logs either sank down anywhere from five inches all the way down to a foot. Twice my feet slipped, and I was left dangling in the air with a mini heart attack. Some of the logs were spaced so far apart that you had to jump to get onto it. I clutched the wire by my head so tight that I left imprints on my palm. By the time I got past the obstacle course, my back was soaked through with sweat. In the middle of that level, it began to drizzle a little bit. We thought, oh, there's no problem, we'll just get down this course. But then, the drizzle slowly progressed into a steady beat. And by the time I reached a course near the end of the level, all of the obstacle courses were slipped with rain. Now in front of me, there were boards that were spaced unevenly apart, about two feet. And it took me almost three minutes to get across, panicking the entire way, with my mom having to urge me on from behind and steady the ropes because my legs were making them shake all over the place. And by the time I'd gotten past the obstacle course, the rain had progressed to a full downpour. Now everybody was huddled up near the trees, and I could barely even see the shape of my mom through the heavy rain. So I clipped myself into the tree, zipped up my waterproof jacket all the way up, and still, the rain collected on my face and ran down my neck into my shirt. Now we waited there for 10 minutes and then 20. And 20 feet in the air, I began to get so dizzy that I was swaying back and forth against the tree trunk. When the staff came out and told us that we had to get down through the rain, I was choked. <laughs> in front of me was a single obstacle, of course. It was a thin wooden plank. 
made with its edge facing upwards, and there was water continuously dripping from the top of it onto the floor. And I stared at it for a second and two, and I began moving without a word. In my head, I had a steady chant, go, 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 wipe the water off, make it dry when mom gets here, tightrope, go, 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 wipe the water off the wire, make it dry for mom. When I cut myself into a tree for the third time, I looked up and smacked my forehead into a zip line. <laughs> With rain dripping into my eyes, I fumbled and clipped myself into the zip line. But we were too high up in the tree to be able to go all the way down to the floor without getting hurt. So that end of the line was actually attached to another tree. And from there, I clipped myself into a ladder and basically slipped my entire way down the rungs. <laughs> but a few hours later, standing in a dry, covered area, dripping, panting, hands cramped, and shocked, I realized that I hadn't been afraid of those last obstacles. So think back to the quote that I gave you in the beginning. The fears we don't face become our limits. I would like to add to this, because in my opinion, it's not the fears that we don't face that become our limits. It's the fears that we can't find a purpose. <laughs>